legs wide open, pointing to the sky. You look up to the ceiling of a hospital, your external genitalia exposed to the open air. Others control it, manipulate it, mess with your axis. My first lithotomy when they cut a piece of clitoris. Four or five millimeters of vital tissue, having completed eight rounds around the world, by ritual, by patriarchal order. The same position at 25, giving birth to my daughter. A white man, obstetrician, he thrust his whole hand into my vagina and brutally performed a Hamilton vaginal touch, without any prior notice or consent. The escalation of pain, violence, pain, vomiting, violence, intensifying. A midwife at the Reina Sofia Hospital in Cordoba was laughing at my pain, making fun of my requests, of my decision to avoid anesthesia. I was questioned because of my ethnic origins. I was invaded with irrelevant questions while contracted in pain. This white woman left me in a lithotomy position, lonely, abandoned, in that room, on that cold gurney, the same gurney of mutilation. When two of my own women grabbed my legs, held me down to dissect that irrelevant piece of clitoris. My delivery continued, in lithotomy, asking for help to endure the pain. I give up, and I finally ask for the epidural. That woman succeeded abused, violated, power abuse and racism enacted in all its splendor and impunity. I gained strength and expelled from myself my whole being. They cut part of the vaginal tissue and appeased it to me without warning, neither consent. All goes well, they say. My daughter is fine. No reason, no consent. Two cuts in lithotomy position. Looking at the ceiling, vulnerable, with legs wide open, exposed. Katna, all these cuttings, prints of patriarchy, misogyny, institutional racism, woman towards woman 